So today people I bring you another review and guys it's on a new legendary to Borderlands which arrived with a bounty of blood. It's called the Stone Thrower and this thing may actually surprise you. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So this new legendary Jacob's Assault Rifle is in my opinion a weapon I don't think many people are giving enough of their time to. Yeah I know many watching this video probably have never seen this thing which I completely understand because it's new to the game and it's a dedicated bus drop it only drops from one place so it may not have had it drop yet. But for those that have seen this and probably used it for a short amount of time I just thought it's that generic Jacob's semi-auto spammy rifle but you would be wrong. What this thing is without you actually realising unless testing properly is an absolute beast and I'd even put it above other amazing Jacob assault rifles in the game much like the clairvoyance which I absolutely loved. Now this stone throw only drops via one place like I said and that's the Cormish boss found at the end of Ashfall Peaks. Root to the boss for those that don't know you will see at the end of the video. So this stone thrower, I will admit upon first using it, it didn't really seem like anything special. In fact without testing it properly it's hard to see what this thing's speciality is and it's easy to miss what this thing offers and just disregard it. But as I do I always take my weapons into certain places to see if I can spot anything in which I may have missed upon me first testing the thing. So to the slot shaft I went and what I learned was this thing was indeed actually something of a beast because it seems as though for every shot fired from this thing it ricochets several times off other enemies body or crit shots meaning its shots ricochet around a semi small space probably up to or even more than 5 times. Now I only noticed this because when killing enemies within the slaughter shaft all enemies around the room were dropping dead in dramatic fashion and quick succession. And at first I couldn't figure out what was going down, all I could tell was I was hitting one enemy with this weapon and a multitude of others were taking damage at the same time. So this thing's speciality is actually something I've looked for on other assault rifles for ages and it's super rare to see anything like this on such a standard high damage weapon. But this thing is actually a very capable weapon which will see you taking down mobs of enemies with ease. Now there are quite a few different variants of this thing, I've been told there's a Masher version 2 which I haven't seen myself yet but that could be seriously interesting. But this crazy powerful assault rifle brought to us by Jacobs is in actual fact an incredible weapon I feel many people might overlook. On screen now you can see the route to Cormish who you can farm for this thing, I'd say it's definitely worth your time checking out for sure. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one. Time for a barrier! Let's start shooting them! 